Flow, TypeScript, ES6, PostCSS, Protractor, React Native, and Create App, WebSwarm 2016.3 is out with a long list of new features. Let's take a look. Flow is Facebook's static type checker for JavaScript. Sending your project JavaScript to Flow turns on Flow, ES6, and JSX. You can then visit the Preferences panel for managing Flow settings. With this, Flow can infer type information to generate error messages, both inline and in WebStorm's Flow tool window. WebStorm also supports the syntax for Flow's explicit type hints. WebStorm previously provided optional integration with the TypeScript language service. This is now the default, giving much better type information. Our rename refactoring now works through a TypeScript inheritance hierarchy. If you rename a method, WebStorm does the refactoring through the parent class or interface. ES6 is becoming mainstream, and WebStorm helps rewriting ES5 code. Use inspections to convert from var to let or const and also from require to import. Many more inspections are available, letting you change all the project code in one step. Also, use a new WebStorm intention to convert ES5 prototypes to ES6 classes. The Post CSS tool lets you use tomorrow's CSS today, and WebStorm now supports it. First, install the optional plugin. Now, CSS files mapped with the right extension, or configured to use PostCSS, will have syntax highlighting for the new features, plus completion, navigation, intentions, and more. WebStorm PostCSS support includes CSS3 custom selectors. This lets you define a custom selector in one place, then reuse it with the same WebStorm selector features, such as autocomplete. In fact, rename refactoring works across your project on these custom selectors. Stylent is a code quality tool for style sheets and is now supported. Install it via npm, create its configuration file, and then enable it for your project. Code style rule errors from Stylent will now be reported in WebStorm. Create React App is now the officially recommended way to create new React apps. Once installed globally, WebStorm can use it in the new project window. Your new React project is now ready to run. Angular 2's CLI was first integrated in WebStorm 2016.2. This new release lets you use Angular CLI to generate new components, routes, and other output with parameter support from within the WebStorm IDE. Also, Protractor tests are now better supported. You can create a Protractor-specific run debug configuration. Then, you run Protractor tests in a visual test-oriented tool window. React Native continues to gain usage, and WebStorm now supports debugging your React Native code during execution in the simulator. First, make a run debug configuration of type React Native, and choose a target platform such as iOS. Then, click Debug to start running your code in the simulator. Once your app is installed into the simulator and opened, tell the simulator to start listening for remote debugging. In WebStorm, set a breakpoint. Now, when an event is fired in the simulator, which triggers that breakpoint, execution will stop in the simulator and control will be handled by WebStorm's debugger. Execution will be stopped at the breakpoint. With so many big ticket features, as well as regular improvements, WebStorm 2016.3 is a significant release. As always, thanks for watching this What's New in WebStorm video.